Hello from Austin. We're here in Texas and in a few minutes, we'll be bringing you the Moto2 race. As you can tell from the live pictures we're bringing you, it's going to be fine weather for the race. So as you can see, 47 degrees. So that track is boiling hot right now. It's going to be slick and it's going to be slippery and we're going to have a very hard job of holding on to this rear tire. So for that reason, I have put the harder rear tire on the rear of this bike and the medium option tire on the front. So hopefully that should be able to get us through this race a little bit easier on the tire management side. Now, qualifying I managed to put it on pole by just one tenth of a second. Now, I'm not sure about our race pace around here. I, in the morning warm-up this morning, I was about nine tenths off the fastest time, but... We'll just have to see what the AI is like here today in the race versus how they were in qualifying. I mean, even the AI is struggling around here. They're literally, like, laying black lines down out of every corner and going into every corner as well, which I haven't seen the AI do yet. Well, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this race. I'm just going to make sure i got the setup applied. Right, there we are. And yeah, here, wait, just make sure I got the right tires on the thing. Not sure, yeah, cool. Alright. Alrighty, so here we go. As I said, we did qualify on the pole. Now, it's actually a Mark VDS front row lockout, so we've got our teammates, Juan Mir and Alex Marquez, alongside us. But unfortunately, we are on the outside going into turn one, which I sort of disagree with. Around here, you'd sort of much rather be on the inside, but we are on the supposed grippier line going into turn one being on that sort of outside but yeah i mean it's basically all down to your start in moto gp you just got to get a decent start to get into turn one doesn't really matter where you qualify as long as you're on the front sort of three ready rows for the race to start now we're just waiting for those lights to go out right all righty here seconds. we go to focus on the race ahead round three for moto two this year i think it's our first poll of the season Anyway, it's not going to be easy. Let's just try and get through turn one. I think we've got a decent start. Oh, there's those other Mark VDS bikes. That was close, but we have come out in the lead. This is the hardest section on the entire MotoGP calendar. It just constantly slows down and it constantly narrows as well. So to hit the apexes is so hard, especially when you're using a controller to control a motorbike. <laughs> oh no. Oh, where am I going? Just got pushed wide there by, I think that's Marquez. No rear grip on this hard tire. Oh my god. This track is so slick right now, it is just so hot. Now, going through this corner, you'll see me all day miss the apex. Because every single time in practice when I've tried to hit the apex for that hairpin, the bike just low sides on me. Like I'll be fully off the brake, fully off the throttle and it just sits down. I do not know why. I don't know if it's a, if I'm missing something on the setup or whether it's just a glitch here on MotoGP 17. But it is annoying as hell and we are getting barged around here. We've dropped all the way down to fifth. Come on. Alright, so we've dropped down to fifth at the end of the first lap. Got some work to do. Alright, that's one position back. Oh, 
Oh, where is that guy going? Where am I going? God, I love that corner. That is so much fun. Okay, that was an unintentional mi missed apex there. Alright, so this is 10 laps, which is approximately half race distance. guy keeps holding me up. Yeah, that's Fanati actually. Yeah, Romano Fanati. I think this is his first year in Moto2. I can't quite remember. So many riders in MotoGP that I can never keep up. Good first couple corners. Come on. Just gotta get this next sector right. Fanati is keep getting held up in this final sector. We're good through the first and second sector, but this final sector seemed to be struggling quite a bit. too early there. It's so hard to get some of these corners right on a controller. I mean, unfortunately, there's no such thing as a steering wheel for a motorbike game. But, yeah, it is super difficult to perfect these corners and get these apexes right. Top of that curb, come on, focus. This track is just so slick.
thing is, in practice and in qualifying, the track was a lot cooler, so it wasn't quite as slippery as what it is now, but in the race it is proving to be really difficult, and I just, I'm just losing a little bit each lap to the top three. See, just waiting and waiting and waiting to put the power down. Alright, so we caught up a little bit here on this lap. Just got to keep pulling away from that sort of pack behind us. If we get caught up in that, then we're just going to drop further and further back. can't catch up to this group ahead of me after being held up in that first couple of laps by the Italian behind us I just cannot I've not been able to sort of pull my way back oh that's not the right line God, that was close. You can see the sort of front just dip. Where we are like right on the edge of just having that front tyre fold underneath us. God, 
Those yellow bumps are horrible. <laughs> Let's go. Guys in front definitely seem to be dropping off. I wonder if they're on a softer tyre than us. Should hopefully be able to get Marquez into the hairpin. Is that? Yeah, that is Marquez. Two, two, three laps to go, come on. I want this podium. I don't think we have enough pace for the leaders, but they are battling actually, so that will help us. Oh, big move up the inside. Oh, that was a bit rude. Definitely going to be no handshakes after that one. <laughs> can catch up to the guys fighting in front. It's Schwan, Mia, and I can't quite see who the other one is. Oh, Miguel Oliveira, that's right. Oh no! Fuck! Come on, go! Uh, okay, well that's ruined our opportunity at a podium. I didn't think I didn't think he was still on the outside, so I just let the bike run up off the corner. Damn it! Elbows out now.
never as good when you come together with your teammate. But, unfortunately, that is the way of motorsport sometimes. Uh, oh my god, that was a slightly sketchy moment. Alright, we have one and a half laps to try and catch Marquez. It's going to be a bit of a tall order, but you never know what can happen. Right back to where we started, fuck's sake. Alright, last lap. Let's see if we can just hold on to fourth. Man, this has been a disappointing race. Oh, a bit of an interesting line there. Oh no, for fuck's sake! Ugh. I can't believe I just did that. God, another disappointing finish in Moto2. When am I going to get this category right? I mean, I had the podium right there and I got freaking taken out by my teammate. I was giving it all I could to try to get back up to him and then just low side on that freaking corner. I can't believe it. Oh, going somewhere into the next state there. Turn. God, I have no tyre left. Oh my god, fucking hell. What a frustrating race. God damn it. Again, Moto2 eludes me. I just cannot get this category right. I mean, we didn't quite have the pace today. We actually started to catch the leader up towards the end, but I just got held up every time I got near someone. We'll have a look at the race start, but there's really not much else I could have done today. I just don't know what happened there with Marquez, but we just got taken out. Something terrible. We were on the inside, so I guess... I just... Yeah, I don't know. No... No idea what happened there. But we did manage to get to the lead. And, uh... Got through... and Ran a little bit wide through here, which is probably where they all started to get back. Up on me, where Juan Mir tries to go around the outside here, but... Ah, oh, so frustrating. 
So frustrating. Oh, he got a bit of a shot there, that's what that was. Let me just got... Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some interesting words said if this was real life. Yeah, definitely a bit unfortunate there. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I know this wasn't really exactly how we wanted it to go, but for the most part, until they left, for the most part it was still a really fun race. So you just cannot get any drive. It was a slick and slippery race. Alright guys, stay tuned as we're just about to go run the MotoGP. And hopefully we can get some more points on the championship in that category. Until next time, I'll catch you later.